For our first container candle, we're going to make a cup of tea candle like this one here. We're using paraffin container wax and a fudge die, which will give a nice tea colour. So what you'll need for this, uh, for a typical teacup candle, is around 150 grams of container candle wax, which I've got in here. You'll also need around a gram of fudge dye. I'm using an LX16 wick, and also 10 mils of, in this case, a vanilla fragrance. Aside from that, you just need a little metal tab which we'll use to fix it to the bottom of the container. A little bit of blue tackle putty and a wick holder. Okay, so the first thing to do, having weighed the wax, is put it into our double boiler. And melt it. Be back in a minute when the wax has melted. Right, now the wax has melted. I'm just gonna, um, Drop my wick in there to just coat it with the wax and then pull it out, let it set. Now I'm going to add my dye. It's only a little bit of dye, it just gives it a nice um, tea like colour. I'm just going to leave to melt and incorporate into the wax now. We'll get the teacup set up. So to do that, take a metal tab, pass the wick through the bottom, and just leave a little bit of overhang, and then just nip the neck so that it closes up nice and firmly. And then you can just snip off the excess. Like that. Now we just take a little bit of blue tack or putty, put it on the bottom of the tab. And now you just press that centrally in the bottom of the teacup. Press down nice and firm so that it's properly anchored for when you pour the wax. That's now ready. Looks like my dye has nicely incorporated. So we can take that off the heat. Okay, now we're just ready to Add the scent, just going to let it cool down a little bit. Now for this one I'm going to be using at 10 mils, which is four of these. Smells lovely. That will cool the wax down further, so it will be pretty much ready to go. Give it another little stir. Make sure the, wax, the scent is fully incorporated into the wax. Now we just pour. Now container wax doesn't shrink. So we can pour it to its final fill level. So I've got that spot on. Because it won't need a second pour. Now what we do is take a wick stick or a pencil, balance it across the top. Only just big enough. Straighten the wick. Take a bit of blue tack. Fasten it to the side there. I'm just going to stir it a little bit because there's some little bubbles in the surface there. They're now gone. 
Okay, now we can just leave that to cool. And then when it's cooled, you can remove the assembly and the final result will be like that. And that's how you make a teacup container candle.